Hi guys, it's Angela with Kelly Mom Collects and today I'm going to be doing a what sold video. But first I need to announce the winners from my last jewelry giveaway video. First, Danielle Riley. I'll be sending you this lucky brand silver tone necklace. Lynn Murtha, I'm going to be sending you these leaf earrings. Aubrey Baker, I'm going to be sending you this little silver toe ring. And Lisa Sawyer, I'm going to be sending you this lucky brand Daisy bracelet that you had mentioned your daughter would love because her name was Daisy. I love that. So, what I need for you guys to do is email me your address at Callie Mom collects for you at gmail.com. I will put it up on the screen so that you can see it and I will get out your guys' pieces. I'm so excited. I love doing these. I want to give everybody their favorite, but I need to spread it out. I'm going to be doing these giveaways probably twice a month and then announcing the winners on my What Sold videos. So now that that is done, thank you guys. I really appreciate you guys watching and commenting and participating. It means a lot to me. So now we're going to go on to what sold for me. This is going to be for the first two weeks of the month, June 1st through the 14th. So let's go ahead and get into what sold. Okay, I'm going to start with my jewelry sales first. The first sale was this Lucky Brand Leather Wrap Bracelet. I believe this featured in my very first video. So this came out of a large lot, which means I paid less than a dollar for it. And I started the listing at $14.99, but once I got quite a few watchers, I sent an offer for $10 and somebody quickly took me up on that. So that was great. Next, we have this Whiting Davis Gold Tone Owl Pendant Necklace. This necklace came out of my Southwestern lot. I don't know if you saw that video or not, but I've already sold a couple of the pieces out of there, so it's doing great. This one sold for $24.99. I paid less than a dollar for it, and so this was a great sell for me. Okay, now this one I wouldn't consider a great sell. It's a pair of earrings that I got out of a jewelry jar and it only sold for $4.99, but I paid just change for these earrings and they finally sold and so there it is. Everything adds up, I guess. Okay, next we have this gold tone mesh styled knot necklace and this necklace also came out of one of my large jewelry hauls so i paid less than a dollar and it sold for 9.99 and so yeah i don't know which video this was but it is one of the big lots now we have a brighton bangle bracelet this bracelet sold for $24.99 I believe this one came out of my premium haul, and so it was a large lot. I paid less than a dollar for it, sold for $24.99, and it was a very quick sale. So this was awesome. Next, we have a J. Crew Chunky Rhinestone Bracelet. This bracelet came out of one of my large hauls, and it was in one of my videos. I don't remember which one, but I paid less than a dollar, and it sold for $14.99, and it wasn't a huge sale, but all sales are good sales. Okay, next we have this gold tone chainmail style bib necklace, and the maker was, and I'm probably not going to pronounce this right, Adia Kibber and this necklace sold for $29.99. It came out of one of my large hauls and so I paid less than a dollar and that was a great profit. Okay, my last jewelry sale for the first part of this month was actually my best sale. These are brand new Museum of Fine Arts from Boston 
and they sold for $59.99. They came out of my premium jewelry haul. There is a video. And so I paid less than a dollar and made $59.99. So this was an amazing sale for me. Okay, now on to the hard goods and collectible items. First, we have these Bavaria beer steins. These were vintage. They were very big and heavy. They totally reminded me of Oktoberfest. But I paid $8 for both of them at a Goodwill and sold them for $28.99. I sold this Quicksilver Velcro wallet that was my son's that he wasn't using anymore. Um, it was still in very good condition. I don't think he used it much, but it sold for $9.99 and it was something that I sourced from home. Next, we have a lot of Micro Machines cars. I had purchased a large bag of Hot Wheels cars and Micro Machine cars from a Goodwill. For $5, I separated them all into small lots, and this lot sold for $10. These were a pair of Bradford Editions Hummingbird Christmas ornaments. They were so pretty. I picked them up at a garage sale for a dollar, and they sold for $10.99. Another lot of Micro Machines sold to the same person. This one sold for $10 as well as the other. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the shoes and clothing sales. This was a pair of cute Vionic floral wedge sandals. I picked up at a garage sale for $5 and sold for $29.99. If you haven't heard of Vionic, they are a super comfortable orthopedic style shoe that are very expensive and they are good sellers. I've sold a men's pair and a woman's pair now. These are a pair of Brooks women's athletic running shoes. These shoes I didn't realize had some damage on them so I couldn't sell them for as much as I normally would have, but I paid nine dollars and sold them for $17.99 because of the damage and had to be up front and list that in my listing. Next we have a pair of Nike Air sport sandals. These were a great sale. They I paid six dollars for them, bought them from the Goodwill, and they sold for $39.99 which was a good profit and it was a quick sale so I would definitely source these shoes again. These are a pair of Princess Polly shorts. Um, these were super cute, but they were my daughter's and they didn't fit her. And so I sold them for $19.99. A great sale from something from home. So these are a pair of Cole Haan gold wedge shoes. Now these are a pair of shoes that had been sitting in my store for a long time and I just wanted to get rid of them. I paid $12 for them and sent an offer out for 20 just to get them out of there and they sold and so it wasn't a great profit but I needed to move some product. Okay, my last sale for the first part of this month is a Lululemon sports bra style tank top. I picked this tank top up at a Goodwill for $9 and it sold for $21.99. Now, that is not the profit that I am hoping for when I choose items. I generally like to make $20 to $30 at least per item, um, but... I've been having to send low offers just to kind of move some of the old product in my store. And that's okay. Sometimes sending out low offers and getting sales going helps to draw people to your store and it helps in the long run. So I'm okay with it. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Thank you for participating in my last jewelry giveaway. If you like content like this, 
eBay sales in jewelry, um, unboxing in hauls, please subscribe. And until next time, guys, thanks for watching. Bye.